Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me. We are reading Genesis chapter 33 this morning. Maybe a few comments. This is where Jacob and Esau will meet. So in the last chapter, we saw that Jacob was sending gifts before him because he wasn't sure Esau wasn't coming to do he and his family harm. Because, you know, when he left 20 years before, Esau was planning to kill him after his father's death. <laughs> he had plans for him for taking his blessing and birthright from him. And uh, the Lord has told him to come home and it will be well with him. But, you know, in the natural, when we see things happening, if we focus on what's happening we can uh, forget about God's word a minute. We have to remind ourselves what God said. And we do see Jacob doing that in the last chapter. He's reminding himself and God, well, you said it would be well. You said my seed would be blessed and multiply. So that is what you and I have to do as well. When we see it getting into rough territory, and it is right now in the world, we remind ourselves that we are sons and daughters of the Lord. He promised never to leave us. He promised to go with us all the way. He promised to be our shield and buckler. Read Psalm 91 and pray it each day to encourage yourselves at this time. Well, let's read chapter 33. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him four hundred men. And he divided the children unto Leah and unto Rachel and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her daughters after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. Well... You know, we pray for the Lord to uh, work between us and our problems with people, problems with family, problems in relationships. When uh, we can't take care of someone else's heart, we pray and let the Lord take care of it. I can remember several years ago, there's a lady that was worried about going to her Thanksgiving uh, family get together she said we just always fight it's just like you dread going instead of looking forward to it and I said well why don't we just pray about that that the Lord will work on this and that you will have a really wonderful blessed time with your family and uh, you know we just prayed about it that the Lord would undertake and that he would bring people with loving hearts to meet together and uh, she reported afterward that that was the best Thanksgiving they had. So, you know, I was thinking about <clears throat> what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear, and that we forfeit peace sometimes and pain because we don't take things to him in prayer. And right now, we need to be praying before what is about to happen rather than getting in the middle of it. So taking that time to pray before what is coming, that our hearts are prepared, that the Lord will have mercy, and uh, the Lord will be with us. Remind ourselves, He is with us. Praise God. Verse 4, And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, and fell on his neck and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God has graciously given thy servant. Then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, they bowed themselves. And Leah came also with her children, came near and bowed themselves. And after came Joseph near and Rachel, and they bowed themselves. And he said, <clears throat> What meanest thou by all this drove which I meant? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto thyself. 
And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, and thou wast pleased with me. Praise God. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, and let us go, and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My Lord, knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and herds with young are with me. And if men should overdrive them one day, all the flock will die. Let my Lord, I pray thee, pass over before his servant, and I will lead on softly, according as the cattle that goeth before me, and the children be able to endure until I come unto my Lord and a seer. <clears throat> and Esau said, Let me now leave with thee some of the folk that are with me. And he said, What needeth it? Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir, and Jacob journeyed to Succoth, and built him an house, and made booths for his cattle. Therefore the name of the place is called Succoth. And Jacob came to Shalem, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, when he came from Padanaram, and pitched his tent before the city. And he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of the children of Hamor, Shechem's father, for a hundred pieces of money. And he erected there an altar and called it El Eloha Israel. Praise God. So a lot of years, Jacob waiting to see some promises fulfilled and God is honoring his word. He's back where he's promised land. He does have seed, doesn't he? Because the uh, sons that he has will be the ones that head the tribes of Israel. Benjamin hasn't made his debut yet, but 11 patriarchs have been born to Jacob. And um, praise God. When God has a plan, it will go forth. And you and I can stumble through a few places, but if we will align with the word and the Lord and his promises, we will get back on track and the Lord will bless. We will see the promises of the Lord be fulfilled. God is well able to perform what he said he will do. Praise God. Pray for our world. Pray for the lost. Grace door is closing, we feel. So not a lot of time. If you're someone that stops by this channel and you haven't made your salvation a sure thing, you've got to call on the Lord Jesus and believe on him with all of your heart when you do so. Obey Acts 2.38 and you shall be saved. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Be blessed.